use this play against cover two coverage and beat the coverage every time with this glitchy route. Coming up next. Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes that post on my channel. Show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So, guys, if you know my channel, make sure you subscribe on. Also, that notification icon so you can never miss an upload. So, guys, I was back in the lab. I was working with one of my new patrons, uh, and he asked me to go ahead and break down different types of plays that beat cloud coverages, cover two, cover three, cover four. Um, I was stumbling on this play running this against cover two coverages with cloud coverages and I found out that this play is money and the route is a very glitchy and it's gonna allow you to go ahead and tack your opponent in the soft zones and cover two on opposite sides of the field and really force a force a dilemma, a dilemma with your opponent with this and you throw this in with other passing plays and with the running scheme it's it's, it's gonna really take your opponent out of uh, a cover two shell so the play we're gonna take a look at is gonna be the play action doubles in shot play action doubles in shot the red route in particular is very glitchy uh, the defenders don't play it correctly and you can throw that for an easy 20 or 30 yard gainer and then you have a nice uh, crossing route on the back end side now you can find this in the Jets the Saints and the Falcons I say that if you're going to do a custom book you probably want to use the Saints and the reason why is this, this particular uh, that, that the Saints formation comes with a stretch play and obviously stretches are OP but uh, this is gonna be broken down to the Jets I just want to show you how this works against cover two and because we're gonna break this against cover twos we're gonna do random cover two so whether it's a hard flat a cover two sink or Tampa two it's gonna basically beat all of them all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna block seven to give ourselves enough time and then we're gonna go ahead and take the tight end uh, Bronica we're gonna do a, a drag route the reason we do a drag is that we essentially want to go ahead and get um, a crossing route underneath to go ahead and preoccupy the uh, defenders. Now, against cover two, the two routes by Gabriel and Robinson should get separation. And what's great about it is that when you're going to be throwing the ball, you're going to be throwing the ball uh, basically when these two are on the two opposite sides of the field. You have one on the far left side deep and you got a one on the far right side deep. So a person's user cannot defend each both, both these routes at one time. So if you're playing against someone that plays a lot of cover two, this is a great cover two beater. Now let's go ahead and see if we actually get enough time to go ahead and, and get this ball off. But I want you to watch this route right here and why this route is so special is that the defender actually pulls away from this route. It doesn't, it, it glitches out, it dumbs out, and this will actually give you an opportunity to go ahead and get a huge completion uh, against it. So if he's using cover two, he's playing a steep half and he has to play over the top coverage. So he's gonna keep backing up. What happens is that because of this route, this defender is going to float with them, but what's what's going to happen is that this drag route will pull that defender down, and by the time he makes his out cut and then his up cut, uh, you can actually throw that ball for a big completion. I like the possession catch it because if you take a look at the yardage, we're looking at 10, 20, almost 30 yards right there, so I'm not trying to essentially get... Um, you know, a rack animation or take a, ch a chance of getting pop, getting the ball popped up. I'll take the possession catch and take, take the 30 yards. Now, what's great about this play is that on the back end side, you have this crosser that gets underneath the mid read, especially if you've got an opponent that uses a deep blue, that deep blue will not even follow it. And these coverages do not come up and play this. So I've got a cro uh, an option to throw the ball across the field to the opposite side. So his user is gonna be completely take down, uh, taken out of the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the play up at the same time. We're going to drag this guy across. And as you can see right here, you can attack the guy off to the right-hand side too. So if for you guys have been playing Manning a lot this year, you know that the crossers are deadly. Uh, essentially is what a lot of players do. Uh, but this gives you an opportunity to go and attack him with the crosser. And then also you've got this glitchy route where you actually can pick up some pretty major yards with it. So go ahead, jump into uh, and go into the practice mode, take a look at this. This is going to be something, uh, it's just a play that I've actually broken down for one of my patrons. Stumbled onto it, realized it really destroys cover two, and it's something you might want to throw into your scheme uh, if you're using a Saints playbook or if you're using uh, the Jets or whatnot. So once again, to my patrons, thank you for support. To my subscribers, thank you for support. And if you do like these type of tips, make sure you smash that like button. And until next time.